Hi, I'm George Cow, and today I'm here with one of my uh, previous clients, Tina Greenbaum. She's kept in touch. She's now living in the same area, and we got together for a meal. So I thought, hey, uh, why don't I have team, Tina share a tip with you today? Tina is an optimal performance specialist. She works with business people, athletes, and uh, performers. And uh, Tina, well, I'll just kind of let you take it away and share whatever you think is helpful for us. Okay, well, thank you, George. It's so wonderful to be here with you. I'm just delighted to have your company. So what I was thinking about, there's a lot of things that we look at when we're under pressure. And <clears throat> being under pressure does something to us. And what it does is it, it makes us tight and makes our tus mu muscles tight. And then we can't think clearly. And when we want to do our best, that's kind of, we want the opposite. We want to be nice and calm and relaxed. So these are paradoxes. How do we manage to do those things? And there's a whole bunch of skills. I have a toolbox that I work with where you can learn how to perform well under pressure. But one of the things I wanted to share with you today is how to make a course correction. Mm. Very important when you recognize that what you're doing is not exactly working. Well, that requires one thing. It requires, number one, that you be, it actually requires more than one thing. It requires that you become aware of what it is that you're actually doing. And that requires for us to be able to observe ourselves non-judgmentally. You know, the mind has a lot of things that it brings up all the time, and they're not always the nicest things in the world. We talk to ourselves sometimes in a way that we wouldn't talk to our worst enemy. So, number one, become aware of how you're talking to yourself. Number two, talk to yourself non-judgmentally. What's working? What's not working? And number three, the biggest trick of being really mentally tough and really mentally healthy is how quickly can I shift? Mm. How quickly can I recognize that what I'm doing is not working and I better change direction really, really quickly? So you keep that star in front of you where you want to go and if you're veering off, because we always do, I guarantee you, you will. You come back, get your course correction, and here we go, we're off again. Mm, beautiful. Constant course correction. That's how, we lead, that's how we get to success. So thank you, Tina. My pleasure. Yeah, so great to see you. And until the next video, wishing everyone kindness to themselves and continued course correction. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, George.